Hi, I've been coming to you on Wednesdays for several weeks now, uh, bringing a little bit of an introduction into what we're going to be talking about on Sunday. One thing I've struggled with is what to title these little talks that I've been giving. Well, I've got a good friend who pastors a Brethren Church in Virginia, and he calls his Sermon Sliders. So I asked him if I could steal that title from him. So, so what you're watching now is my Wednesday Sermon Slider, which will begin by reading two verses from Matthew chapter 7. Verses 13 and 14, Jesus says, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Each spring, I go to try to go on daily prayer walks through town. I'll often walk up and down the streets and the sidewalks and pray for folks I know as I pass by their houses, as well as praying for people that I don't know. And those walks are good for me, and not just because it's healthy to walk. I feel a connection with the Lord and the people around town as I do so. I sense God's presence as I walk, and, and often the lyrics to a song will come to my mind. One of those songs goes like this. You'll be familiar with it. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. Well, as I walk, I know that I'm not walking alone. I know the Lord is with me. I also know that he's carrying me through some of my more difficult days. After all, Jesus did say, I will be with you always, and he is. Now, sometimes he walks beside us as our friend, sometimes walking ahead of us as our guide, most times teaching us along the way. And this Sunday, we're going to begin a journey on the various roads that are a part of the passion story, roads that lead us to Easter and beyond. These are roads that Jesus talked about, roads Jesus walked, roads where people met Jesus, as well as roads where Jesus encouraged us to take in our own lives as we journey through our life of faith. And this Sunday, we're going to see what it means to take the narrow road that Jesus talked about in the verses that I read just a few minutes ago. Now, one commentator has said that, that we are not dwellers, but we are rather travelers through life. And while the world speaks about numerous roads that we can travel, Jesus tells us that there are really only two to choose from, and there's no middle ground. In our text, the first word is enter. And that word calls for a decision on our part. As we journey through life, we'll seek to enter our future through the wide gate and the, and the wide road, or will we choose to enter through the narrow gate and walk the narrow road? Now, we tend to naturally take the wide road because it's the way that we can actually go through life, and sometimes we can do that and hardly know there's a second road available. You see, the wide road is comfortable. So why look for any other way? You don't need to jostle with other people as you walk the wide road. There's, there's plenty of room. You don't need to lay anything aside. You don't even need to leave your friends behind because the gate is wide and it opens to a broad road. On the broad road, the worldly person can work out their schemes to get ahead, gather their money, achieve their position in the world without thinking twice about there being another road. The pleasure seeker, can rely on eating and drinking and dancing their way through life without thinking twice about there being another road. The skeptic can even hold on to their doubts while traveling this road because the road is easy and wide. But the narrow road cannot be described in the same terms. Jesus makes no secret about the cost of discipleship, of walking the narrow road, but instead he underlines its hardships and its difficulties. And so at the start, he confronts us with the demands of the narrow road. He said, if anyone would come after me, they must deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. The narrow gate and the narrow road require an act of decision then. It isn't a road that you're likely to drift onto by chance. It requires a choice. 
Now, you'd think it was an easy choice, but, but if that were so, why aren't there more people taking it? There are differences for sure. One road is easy to travel. One road's difficult to travel. One road offers easy choices. The other road offers difficult choices. But there is one major difference that Jesus mentions. While the wide road leads to destruction, the narrow road leads to life. And so this Sunday, as we begin our Easter series, we're going to explore this choice that we have of taking the wide road or the narrow road. I hope you'll join us at the Milledgeville Brethren Church, whether in person or as we live stream our service on YouTube. We begin at 10 o'clock, and I look forward to worshiping with you as we sing, share, pray, and open God's word together. Let me pray with you now. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity that we have to take just this brief look into your word today and, and be challenged to choose the narrow road, the road that leads to life. But Father, this coming Sunday, we're going to even explore this in even greater depth. And so I pray, Lord, that you'll continue to pre prepare my heart for this time to share the word, but that you'll also prepare those listening, prepare their hearts for the time when they will be able to receive the word. And may the result of that time together bring about change in our lives for the good. And may it be so to your praise, honor, and glory. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.